Next, we have um, Professor Roderick Brody. Rod Brody is an emeritus professor at the Business School, and his teaching and research have seen him recognized as a pioneer in the understanding of branding and customer engagement. His research has been cited far beyond the boundaries of business, influencing economists, psychologists, and sociologists. His work is about how business not only pr can protect, but also enhance the social license to operate. Thanks very much, Rod. Oh, thank you for inviting me. Um, I was always fascinated uh, with the potential of business. And as a 10-year-old schoolboy, I set up a cinema for children in our garage. And this was before TV. This is 19, the 1950s. Uh, and our house was very close to the local primary school and uh, the cinema, cinema oper operated after school. It was a complex activity. Two friends had eight millimeter projectors. I hired films. We reconfigured the garage into a cinema. Uh, there was a charge for entry, and we had suites at half time. I learned early on that markets were complex. <laughs> much, uh, much, much later, after graduating in economics, I found myself as an academic in the discipline of marketing. And in the 1970s, marketing's focus was on customer needs and wants. But as I learned from my childhood business uh, experiences, um, the role of business goes far beyond uh, the setting of supply and demand. And so my focus uh, shifted to the complexities of thinking um, uh, how to free ourselves from the very dyadic view which was being provided by marketing at that stage and so we needed to unshackle our thinking from this diet and adopt a broader network perspective. And so um, in order to develop this network perspective, um, there's a lot going on, and especially since the 1990s, and there has been digital transformation with the emergence of the internet and social media, uh, each having major impacts and uh, on business practice, and in particular, perhaps the, the broader societal transformation uh, that is taking place since then. And we see new ways of organizing business and uh, the need for more agile ways to respond to increasing uncertainty arising from faster changes in culture and society. And today, business uh, cannot ignore the drive for a sustainable planet and stewardship in the environment. And working with collaborators across the globe, we have adopted a systemic uh, network perspective. And my research has blossomed with branches in branding, engagement, and more recently in market shaping in the circular economy. This highly cited research is having both practical and societal relevance, but also major global impact. And so to illustrate this, I'll focus on branding. A dynamic network perspective reveals that a brand is much more than image and logo. Brands create value through an ever-changing interactive confluence of perception, value, emotions, and trusts. Uh, the jobs of, of a brand manager and chief executives is to navigate their way through this. And so perhaps just to illustrate this, uh, I, don't, I don't think our soccer, women's soccer team is going to have as much uh, exposure as this, but certainly you know, there was a major rise uh, in uh, the Black Ferns from a barely unknown team to uh, uh, when they won the World Cup to heroes and role models for the New Zealand public. And to understand that, it's a bit like an iceberg. At the tip of is visible, and that's the brand image and logo created by their games and their interviews in the media. But below the waterline are complex social processes. People aren't just fans. They've participated in social processes. They're talking about the team, watching their games, and reading about the team. Uh, their individual st stories and collective presence co-created new meanings in the market system. These social processes feed into the creation of a very strong brand. 
And in our paper, Emerging, uh, Emergence of Brand Meaning in Social Systems, we develop a framework to investigate the so social and cultural meanings. The framework shows how brand meanings evolve at different levels of a brand service ecosystem. This, the co-creation of brand meanings reflects the thoughts and actions of multiple actors engaging in the brand. And so, if we think of the framework, well, it could be this huge amount of confusion, but the framework we've developed is uh, we use a service ecosystem perspective with three levels, micro, meso, and macro. First comes the micro level, and that's the indiv individual, whether a worker, manager, or customers. Brand identity is shaped by individual needs and wants. Then at the next level is the uh, meso level, and this is the relations the organizations build with suppliers, distributors, customers, and communities. It is at the meso level where the organization strategy re resides. Finally, uh, the business is granted social license to function at the macro level. How does the business sit in relation to wider society, government, and social media? And so it's up to the, the brand owners, the chief executives, and the board to ensure that at each level of the network, the brand meanings meet with the promises of the business. So just, just to conclude, like business, um, research is always a co-created activity. And I've provided vision and leadership, uh, but as you can see, uh, there's been wonderful collaboration with 50-plus uh, talented co-authors to publish many highly cited articles um, and the evidence is that the network framework will support businesses to be more resilient, agile, and most importantly, better for society and the planet, leading to social license. Thank you.